Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass. Last time we made it to the port on the island and um, yeah, we went searching for Linebeck and our search took us here to the Temple of the Ocean King. That's, you know, cursed. It sucks the life right out of you. Literally. So yeah, today we're going to explore the temple to try and find a hint on the ghost ship. So let's go. The door won't budge. The design on the door must mean something. Uh. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There's a locked door right here. Okay. Yeah, I have to remember. The map is very useful. Okay, so. Onward we go. Must get to a safe zone. Hit that. The spikes have stopped. Probably shouldn't have gotten that heart right there. Okay, can't open that. Oh god, trap door. Okay. We don't have to worry about those spikes anymore. Oh, and that opened up the door. How nice. Okay. Well, let's just hurry up and go over here then. Wait, is that it? I was, I was getting ready. We we found a C chart, and we unlocked the southwestern quadrant. Okay, it must be an important clue to finding the ghost ship. You should show it to Linebeck. Whoa! Look at that old C chart. I wonder if that's the clue to the ghost ship Linebeck was talking about. I was expecting this to take just a tad bit longer, but okay. Let's just go. Get on out of here. Hey, where's Linebeck? Can you believe the nerve of that guy making us go over there by ourselves now? We got the sea chart. I've got some words for him. Eh, be quiet, silly. You're just a fairy. There's not much you can really do. So now do I go up top up here? Maybe not. Okay, well then I guess I just go find Linebeck then. But yay, we made it out of here without dying. Like those corpses that riddle the place around them. How sad for them. But how good for me. If it isn't that little monkey. Why are you calling me a monkey now? That's just mean. This twinkly pal slow getting the goods, eh? Slow, how dare you? You were quick enough to run off, injury and all. What an insult. I was merely hurrying back to my ship. Any captain worth his salt puts his ship before his own safety, I tell ya. But tell me, little monkey, <laughs> where did you find in the treasure chest? Ah, oh, map, let me add it. Bob, was this some boring old sea map? Oh, now I see it's... Uh, uh. Oh, now I see. It is, as we call it in the adventuring business, a treasure map! If we probe its mysteries, we can find the very prize I'm seeking. The ghost ship. And by we, I mean me! Farewell, little monkey, I'm off to find adventure. You jerk! Yeah, he did just really do that, Celia. Must have in our map and runs off with it. What should we do next? Meet Linebeck at his ship? Uh, yeah. Because, you know, he, he stole from us. I mean, it's kind of important that we get back our goods. Get out of my way, Chew Chew. Freaking uh, just walking into me. And by walking into me, I mean just standing there as I was running and not paying attention to where I was even going. But okay. Here we are. Well, look who's gracing our presence. This old man, Oceus. The bridge has been fixed, so I thought I'd check up on the youngsters here. You're an amazing lad to emerge alive from the temple, Link. Very courageous for one so early in his years. You sent me into that treacherous temple too, you old barnacle. Any who entered the temple unprepared will find it a terrifying ordeal. And most will lose heart and flee for their lives upon hearing me say it. But evidently there are true heroes among us, and his name is Link. Preen my feathers a little more, old man. Yep, I'm famous, all right. <laughs> Not you, fool. You're a wreck. You'd be sucked by now if our young friend here hadn't shown up. And that's the truth. I was injured. On a typical day, I blazed through one or two such temples before breakfast. Calm yourself, Linebeck, and tell me what you've made of the temple's map. I expect that fully my trained eyes finds that it holds no secrets at all. But wait, old man. What do you know of this map? 
Ho ho ho! Has the mask puzzle eluded you, Limebeck, if I may see the map? A standard map would simply show you where to go, would it not? This is no standard map. You'll find that one section is a little flaky. Touch it! I trust you can solve the puzzle, Link. Hmm. I don't... Um... Is it this? 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 I'm touching random spots on the map. Nothing's happening. Uh... What am I supposed to be touching? I don't know. I don't know. I forgot what I'm supposed to be touching. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, it's like a little scratch off. Okay, did I hit the lottery? Hey, look at that, a secret mark on the map. That marks the spot of an isle born of volcanic strife. It is the Isle of Ember. A fortune teller named Astrid, what kind of name is that for a fortune teller, lives there and she sees far, Link. So you should ask Astrid if she can see where the ghost ship might be. Isle of Ember, eh? I always suspected there might be something there. Sure you did. So it's as simple as sailing there and finding Astrid? So we're off to the Isle of Ember then. So yeah, I'd like you to go with Link. You'll be essential to this efforts, to his efforts, I'm sure. And by seeing the outside world, you might just find your lost memories. Oh yeah, because she has amnesia and such. Well, dude, happy to help. Sorry that we have to pal around with Linebeck, though. So I'm glad to sail the seas and see the world. What? Don't tell me that I have to haul around that twinkly bit of fluff, too. Bah, fine then. Okay, the Isle of Ember awaits. Ready to set sail? Yeah, I guess. I mean, I have nothing else to really do here. I mean, I don't have a bomb bag, so I can't buy bombs, and, you know, there's really not much I can access, so let's just go ahead and advance the game. Why not? It's off to the open sea with us, then. I'll leave all the navigation to you while I stay down in the engine room. Tap the feather pen icon to access your navigation chart. Just draw a line, and the ship will follow that exact path. Try it out! So, yeah. You know, when we're here on the open seas, we can just, you know, guide this around. And we can, you know, choose to sail the Beetle ship if we wanted to. So yeah, when you draw your little path, you just immediately start sailing. You can rotate the camera. Oh, you see the engine on the right, tap stop to go. To resume course, tap go. Let's see if you want to look around the screen. Yeah, touch the screen's edge, okay. Yeah, touch up, down, left, right to look in all directions. That's what I was doing. So, yep, we're going to Beetle's ship, because Beetle is awesome. And don't you forget it. Yes, we will board Beetle's ship. And it looks like he's out of the frickin' shield, because we bought one already. Mm-hmm, so, yeah, he has this. It's a good thing. Mm-hmm. He has one of those golden little feathers, Helmerock Plume. Mm-hmm, interesting. Red Potion, can't do anything with that. Okay, a Battle Wheel. I am just short of that. Man, I kind of want that. I kind of want that because, yeah, you can upgrade the ship and everything, and, you know, fun times will be had. But, all right, we're done checking out Beetle's wares. We can go to Murkay Island. Yeah, let, let's go to Murkay Island. Why not? And we're off. This is essentially like just a quicker version. Well, I mean, I, I mean, obviously, it's a quicker version of uh, um, uh, Wind Waker's sailing. Did I just? I just went in a freaking circle. Did, I never knew the name of the island. <laughs> That's my fault. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We really should be setting sail. We really should. Oh my god, that was that was dumb of me. Like, yeah, let's go to Murkay Island. Oh wait, it's the island we were just on. To be fair, I don't think they ever told me the name. So I'm just gonna ignore everything and go straight to Cannon Island. Yeah, you can't really speed this up though, but you can jump. Yeah. Jump in action! Woo! 
At least you don't have to worry about wind direction in this game. Is that Fishman? Or is that an enemy? Oh no, that's a frog. I forgot what the purpose of the gold frogs are. Oh well. I'm sure someone will tell us at some point. I think you really do want to stop on Cannon Island first. Hey, nice to meet you. And not like I don't want to greet you. But I'm here to deliver your mail. Not talk your ear off. Yep, the postman lives for special delivery. And your name is, got it, right here. Or isn't it Link? I'm sure I'll be carrying special deliveries for you at some point. Where's your beak? I see you have wings, but are you really a Riedel tribesman? Hmm. Hey, I'd appreciate it if you didn't, you know, shoot me with a slingshot. Thanks for understanding. I might need you to sign for deliveries. Thanks. On that note, see you around the sea, sir. He is such an awful flyer. Okay, good day to you. What do you have for delivery? No, no, I, I want to collect my mail. Didn't, didn't he say he had some mail for me? Oh, yeah, also we have our little sea chart right there. It's not really showing too much just yet. I guess I don't have mail. Hmm. Wasn't really paying attention. Oh, yeah, we got our little ship parts right here. You know, we have a passable prow. Oh, they even have explanations. Okay, yes, average. Wow, I forgot, like, how many ship parts there are. Normal anchor, standard hull, a simple handrail, a steady bridge, a normal chimney, and a normal wheel. My goal in this LP is to pimp the ever-loving hell out of that ship. We will do it. And this is Edo's Garage. Hey, welcome to the ship junkyard at Edo's Garage. It's all Master Edo's. I know that Master wants to sell the cannon that he's working on, so come on back later if you're interested in getting your hands on one. Oh. Okay, well, we can't do anything here just yet. I thought we did have to come here first. Oh, well, that's my fault. Yeah, we can't go in there just yet either. No, bomb garden. Because, yeah, we need the place opened up for us. I need to stop killing the defenseless signs. It's just so rude of me. But, all right. Now, let's go to em the Isle of Ember. I was about to call it Ember Island. Okay. So yeah, there's really not much to talk about while you're sailing. Um, I mean, at least for now, anyway. There's not really too much we can do. Our ship has four hearts of health. As you pimp it out, you know, your health for the ship can increase. So yeah, there's that. Alright, thank God we're here. Oh boy. Oh, so I'm getting a little uncomfortable now. Alright. Hmm. This must be the Isle of Ember that Grandpa was talking about. We're here. And there's the phone. I don't think they got picked up by the mic, but I'm just going to play it safe just in case. And man, the mute button on this mic is a godsend. Okay. Yep. Uh, line Beck. Hey, I mean, the dude's humble. What can you say? Well, you didn't even know where the island was. Who sketched our course on the sea chart? Yeah, Link did. What? You piece of fluff, you just don't appreciate the finer points of sailing. But you get me, right, Link? Actually, no, I don't get you, Lineback. No, I don't. <laughs> Abuse your captain, will you? Okay, you little adventure monkey, why don't you run off and find Astrid? I'll be right here waiting for you, taking care of my ship. Hmm. What? Staying behind? You're scared, aren't you? Me? So scared? I'm never scared, you little fluttering shrimp. You two go ahead, I'll be breaking my back working on the ship for your sakes. Yeah, your weak old ship. It's like, it's, it's not even a cool ship. You don't even have a good sail on it. What kind of sailor are you? Anyway, here we are on the Isle of Ember, and, um... Yeah. Here we are. I don't really have much to say, so, um... I don't know. Do I want to go ahead and find Astrid now? I'll go ahead and find Astrid now, and then we'll call it a day. 
I know she's not in here. Yep, see? Because there's nobody in here. Link will not open people's drawers. I guess he's being nice now, or just being a decent human being. Like, he's tired of stealing from people. And yet, he's still gonna vandalize this household. If you're reading my words, it means I have fallen to fate. So look east to pick up the torch and take up my duty. K.O. <laughs> K.O. I see what they did there. Okay. Ooh, mystery. I wonder what happened on this aisle, Link. So do I have to go all the way east? Yeah, let's go all the way east. And he's not talking about we. Ha ha ha. I forced a SpongeBob reference. Okay. Well, it looks like I can't do anything with that just yet. Oh no, tech tights! Freaking hate tech tights! Freaking tech tights! A fallen adventure, look, Link. Yes, I know. It was probably the tech tights that did it. Wow, he looks so adventurous. Brute force will get you nowhere. Yeah, it's a ghost. Get him, Link. What, what, what can I do? What can I do? I can't attack a ghost with a sword. Unless it's a Poe. You know, those, those are kind of the uh, counterexample. And some warning before you come at me. I must look really bad, but I swear, I'm not a bad ghost. Well, to be honest, he doesn't really look like an evil ghost. My name is K.O. I used to work for Astrid, the fortune teller. What happened to you, you poor thing? If you believe in fate, it is not so bad. I do feel much lighter. Of graver concern, though, is what's happened to Astrid. It haunts me. Astrid, we came to this island to find her. Do you know where she is? Hit her away. Astrid is inside her home right here. Okay. There's no way I can open the door. Not in this condition. Would you please open the door for me? Yeah, I'll go ahead and do that. Of course, we'll help. We'll open that door and let Astrid out. I'd really appreciate it if you could do this. Now, here's the secret to opening the door. The three torches on this island are the key to understanding. Keep that in mind, and you may be able to open the door. One torch is right here. Make a note on your map, lest you forget. Please take care of Astrid. Okay. So, uh... I forgot what I'm supposed to do. Let's just make a mark right there that there's a torch. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I, I think I remember this little puzzle. And I'm running like hell from that crow. You know, oh no, we have an electric chew right here. Okay, let me just mark this. And let's get on out of here. I'm not even focused on these enemies right now. They are... I should probably be focused on these enemies right now. Yeah, sure, let's, let's just run up here. Why not? I don't even think this is, like, the way to get to anywhere, really. But I'm still going. Okay, wow, uh, there is so much stuff trying to kill me right now. And yeah, this is Astrid's house. Okay. Well, first things first, I need to figure out where that last torch is. I'm mad that I can't make that jump. Alright, fine, whatever. Seriously, where is this last torch? Oh! I died. By being stupid. Please continue me off right here. Okay, thank you. Thank you for checkpoints. Because, uh, yeah, I mean, the fact that I haven't saved at all 
It's kind of bad. Oh, wait a minute, I'm an idiot, because, yeah, there's a torch in this house. So let's go ahead and mark that. Okay. Seriously, how did I forget about that? Well, whatever, let's go in here and do the thing that we need to do so we can do more stuff, I guess. Oh no, there's no turning back. Oh no, Octorox. I better not die to these freaking Octoroks. I won't be able to show my face around the hero school anymore. Okay, the Octoroks are dead. Hang on, Link. I feel a presence on the other side of this door. Hey, I hear footsteps behind there, but this door looks pretty locked to me. What should we do? Hey, let's call out. Ready? Okay. Call out something now, loud and clear, into the microphone. Ahem. Hey! Back there, yeah. Who, who's there? Someone heard you. You did it, Link. Are the monsters gone? Get me out of here. It's safe out here. K.O. asked us to open this door. So might you be the fortune teller Astrid? <coughs> Indeed, I am Astrid. Yes, but as a favor to K.O., to look at the map hanging beside the door, simply touch it. I don't know who you are, but would you open this? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you and good luck because this will be tricky. Nah, I got it. So yeah, you know, we just had to know where the three torches were, mark their locations. So we have one right here, uh, one right there, and uh, one right there. You touch the right places. <laughs> that can be read in like so many different ways. Don't know why they were hiding her face for so long. It's not like she's a great beauty or anything. Open the door and finally free to go outside again. You best of the monsters guarded me, so you are no ordinary traveler. They were just Octoroks. You can just step on them and they'll be like, just done. Might as well tell her her name. I mean, our names, rather. <laughs> Link, it evokes kindness and strength in the same breath. Lovely name. Now I wish I stuck with Psycho. That would have been amazing. Uh... Yeah, we're, we're looking for a ship. You know, the ghost ship. That's so, the ghost ship came around a few days ago. That's why I was hidden away to escape its ruinous reach. Speaking of which, I haven't seen K.O. since then. Yeah, um, about that. He's kind of, uh, dead. I don't know how that happened, but hey, I mean, well, to be fair, you know, the same did just happen to me in this video where I was just walking into enemies. Well, life has little use for mourning, so K.O. thought. Shall I tell you your fortune? Yes. Okay. Please wait upstairs. If others wait, you please bring them along with you to my chamber. Assemble yourselves and I will join you after I make my preparations. Okay. Confound it. You think that someone who sees the future will be on time. Where is Astrid? Let's get our fortune stone and be done with it. Greetings. Now, if everyone is here, we can begin. Open my eyes to the future of sinister darkness, the mighty sea, and the voice of sacred light. I see it. I shall speak. Listen with your hearts. If you really want to find the ghost ship, Link, you must be ready to clash with the very darkness itself. Knowing that, do you still want to rescue Tetra? Uh, yeah. Oh, very well. The honesty in your eyes is crystal clear. Now make haste to the Temple of Fire on the summit of this island. There you must defeat the power of darkness that haunts that place. You will then find what you need to open the path that lies ahead of you. You have within you to... Wait, oh, okay. You have it within you to alter our doomed course of events, Link. But the light that seeks your help is growing faint. Please hurry. Power of darkness, eh? Hey, kid. I uh, just remembered I have to go polish the uh, ship's rudder. Uh, rudder. Later, kid. Sheesh, what's with line back? Oh, let's just let him be and hurry to the temple. Okay. So, uh... Yeah. My voice is kind of like utterly shot right now because I've just been recording for ages. And by ages, I mean an, an hour and 20 minutes. This isn't even the longest I've ever gone. I don't know why my voice is just giving out on me, but yeah. Possibly also due to the fact that I am ridiculously hungry. The only thing I've had to eat all day was uh, half a bottle of Pepsi. 
and yeah, like I, I didn't even eat that. I, I drank that, but all right, whatever. Tap the door to open it. Woo, we did it. Okay. Can I stop running into those guys? So yeah, we're just gonna get to the Temple of Fire and uh... Oh no, volcanic rocks. Yes, the volcano's erupting. I know I need to watch out for those. Thanks for stating the obvious. Okay, so just keep running. Don't stop running. You just have to make it to the summit, and then we can end the part here, and I can go find something to eat. This will be the temple. The entrance is sealed. Ah, oh, damn it. No, open! <sighs> what must I do? Wait a minute. I think I vaguely remember, but first I'm going to open up this chest and get 20 rupees. And I think you're going to give me a hint about it. Yep, blow out the flames. Okay. Yep. I had a feeling that's what I had to do, so let's blow out the flames. I said... Okay. And then this one. There we go. Now we can enter the temple. We did it, Link. Let's go face up to that power of darkness. And we will go face up to that power of darkness next time when we do the Temple of Fire. It looks pretty harrowing, but we can do it. Also, yeah, you don't really have a need for a dungeon map in this game considering they give you the maps automatically. What's up with that? I don't know. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Have a great day and see you next time for some more Let's Play Legend of Zelda The Phantom Hourglass. I need food. Goodbye.